everyone, welcome back to Ridge Reviews and welcome to 2021. The progression of the videos going forward for Ridge Reviews in 2021. If you haven't subscribed, then please click about subscribing already. Our target for this year is to reach 1,000 subscribers. So that's before close out of 2021. We're looking for reaching 1,000 subscribers um, to grow the channel and to move the channel forward. Great content to come, so if you want to receive information and notifications about future content, please make sure you subscribe and select all for future notifications of all videos. So, you join us today on a very wet and cold day, typical for UK, yeah, we always talk about the weather. So you join us today on a trip into Bristol to finalise the specification on the new Horman garage door for the garage. So it's a new Horman sectional door. Um, so today we're finalising the, the finish on the outside of the panels for the Horman garage door. We're also finalising the type of motor that's going to be fitted, in effect the Promatic 4 or the Supermatic E. We're going to probably go with the Supermatic E, but I'll have a discussion with the fitter and with the supplier to understand uh, the peak differences and obviously the cost differences as well. And as I'm talking to you now, it's just starting to snow. So it's converting from rain into snow, so it's, so it's now snowing really heavily as we're driving towards Bristol. So, uh, we'll provide some uh, some content when we actually get to the supplier of the garage door. Um, we'll show you we'll show you the motor working, we'll show you the garage door opening and closing, and we'll show you some content. So you'll join us later at the actual reseller's showroom. Catch you later. Okay, so I'm here at Bristol Garage Doors and I'm here with Dave from Bristol Garage Doors. Hiya. Dave, Dave at Bristol Garage Doors is looking after me with regards to the Horman sectional door. And this is the design of the Horman sectional door that uh, Dave will be fitting, or Dave's, Dave's uh, fitters will be fitting for me. So you have a, a key fob for the remote control, which is the remote control, and it actions on the Supermatic motor, which is at the back, but we'll have a look at that in a, in a few minutes. So you usually have one button that's programmed for the Supermatic mechanism to be able to pull the sectional door up and down. You can see there, the light comes on on the Supermatic unit. The door is in four panels, which is, which is very common for sectional doors. Here you have reaming in between the doors, which is in effect a finish, a style of finish. Within the actual sectional door panels, they have sealing between the actual sectional doors and, and a safety mechanism where you cannot get your fingers caught between the actual sections of in, into the into interspersed sections on the actual sectional doors for a safety mechanism, obviously children's fingers and such like. And the door is very secure. I'm about 16 and a half stone and pretty strong from all the training I've done. That isn't going anywhere obviously very important from a security point of view if you've got valuable things behind the door. Now one of the things that Dave's looking at for me is the capability to provide uh, ventilation for the top slab. This top, this top panel, see that's one of the panels, that's another panel, that's a panel and that's the fourth panel down there. One of the capabilities of the Holman door is that you can have the remote control configured whereby you press one of the buttons and the top panel actually slightly tilts back and provides ventilation, secure ventilation for the, for the garage. And this is to enable um, re reduction of moisture and such like in the garage. So it's one of the features that Dave's going to be looking at to provide for me. And that capability is provisioned by separate um, brackets that are put on the actual top panel to be able to enable the, the, the motor, the Supermatic E motor, to be able to just delatch and pull the top panel forward to allow that panel to open up and to allow ventilation in a secure manner. It mitigates having to have the door lifted up a little bit which would enable all sorts of swarf to come in, leaves, dirt, etc. And of course, small animals like mice, rats, etc. You don't want that happening. You don't want the bottom garage door open overnight, for example. Whereas if you have the ventilation slat open at the top, 
perceived that you could have that open for a couple of hours and it could be set to an automated sensor as well which would sense the moisture in the garage and automatically open it if you want to but I wouldn't do that I'd do it manually so I'm just going to open the garage door now the Supermatic key also is a faster lift system as well provides a faster lift system so the Supermatic key is a is a is the more advanced motor compared to the Promatic 4. With regards to sealing the bottom of the garage door, this provides a good sealant on the bottom. It doesn't provide a full rain of waterproof sealant, but it's very good and gives you some flexibility if the bottom of the garage door isn't sealed properly and isn't level. If the bottom of the garage door isn't very level, then this will overcome any differences in the actual level of the, of the floor. If you come forward and have a look at the supermatic motor. So this is the, the motor and the guts of the mechanism that actually pulls the door forward and, and pushes it down. The supermatic um, E, this is the supermatic E4. And as you can see from the top panel here, you can actually program it. And you can program the lights to switch on and off with a remote control. And there's different, various different levels of functionality you can program as well, which um, if we have the different brackets fitted to provide ventilation for the top panel, then that would be able to be programmed on the remote as well or with the actual motor. So it would actually just pull forward on this which connects to the top panel to open up the sectional door. And as you can see, the sectional door runs on, on rails. And if we just come inside, so here the sectional door runs on the inner channel, on this inner channel, but you'll notice this top panel runs on the top channel. And the reason for that is, if this top panel ran on this lower channel, then you wouldn't get the door, have the ability to close in this manner. So that's why a sectional door has two channels. The top panel has to run on an upper channel because that's closing at a 90 degree angle. So it's closing at this point as a fulcrum. And obviously if it was running on this inner channel, then it would just be locked there and the garage door would still be open. So the top panel has to run on the top channel to be able to close properly. And the, the door mechanism runs via a chain connected here through this channel, connected to the supermatic motor. And if you want to, if you get, for example, if you get an electrical failure, then you can disengage the chain and the, and the motor system. You can actually pull the garage door up manually yourself. And the garage door in general will stay in the position. It's not under any weight. The weight is managed by the springs on the side. So these springs are actually holding the weight, so the motor is just pulling the actual panels forward, assisted by this spring mechanism. So it's less strain on the motor. So you can actually, you can actually pull the, the panel up, the section of the door up yourself manually. And then when you pull it back down again manually, you must make sure that you relatch the chain mechanism so that the motor can then work again to pull the garage door up in the automated fashion, like so. And I uh, didn't mention before, but this is the LPU42 sectional door, which is 42 mil insulated. There's a, a model below this which is just steel, it isn't insulated and there's a model above it called the LPU67 um, but for my requirements I don't need the 67mm insulation and this is really good 47mm insulation and I say it's called the LPU42, uh, sorry 42mm insulation and it's called the LPU42. So David, you want me as a salesman? <laughs> <laughs>
Again, another reason why I wanted to go exceptional. <laughs> but I think it's very important as well um, with the Hallman sectional doors. By the way, Hallman is pretty much the top brand for, for doors and for sectional doors in the industry. Um, there, you'll notice that the doors are flat, there's actually no fitments at all on the garage door. The only thing you do have is the Hallman branding. Now here, you see the Hallman name in the corner. Um, commonly nowadays, um, the Hallman name is actually at the bottom of the door. But there's no way, there's nothing here that you can drill, there's nothing here that you can try and leverage um, to gain access internally within the, within the garage door. It's very secure, it's just flat. If you try to, I, can't, I haven't got a crowbar, so I can't show you, but um, if you try to get anything underneath here and try and put it up, it's locked in the mechanism and it's locked in the channel. So there's no way you're going to be able to leverage that garage door up, certainly not in a small amount of time anyway, which is what thieves will be going towards. And you can't get behind here on the channel. You, you just can't get into the door. And commonly, as Dave has mentioned earlier, people, when they see, when thieves see the name Horman on the garage door, they look for an easier target because they know Horman sectional doors are hard to get into and they're not going to have easy access within a short period of time. So it's a very secure format. So uh, that's the that's the Horman sectional door. And uh, we'll give you some more insight and some more information and um, a, a run through of the actual sectional door as it's fitted and finalized in my garage. So we're just on the way back now. We've finished with Dave at Bristol Garage Doors. Uh, we've made the final decision on the garage door configuration. So we're going with a sectional LPU 42 with the Supramatic E4 motor. And Dave is just looking out for the configuration for the, the ability to provide that van ventilation for the top panel to just drop back um, without actually lifting up the sectional garage door from the bottom. So obviously that's to assist in security, as I said before. Um, and the additional cost to upgrade from the pro from the Promatic to the Supermatic motor. Um, the Supermatic, as I detailed before earlier, uh, provides the capability uh, of, it's just this more durable motor and it has more functionality as well, providing for this top panel ventilation and for more capability on configuration of the lights, etc. to be managed by the remote control it's just a, a lot better system it's got more durability more capability to, to allow the door to be open to close um, more times within a period of within a 24-hour period um, it's faster more torque it's just a better motor so it's a better way to go and it's going to be around 100 pounds difference uh, to upgrade to that supermatic e4 motor um, over and above the promatic so it's um, i believe it's a better way to go all things considered so that's a configuration decided for the sectional door. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, then please think about subscribing. As I said earlier, we're looking to grow the channel to, to 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe and please select all for notifications so you receive notifications of all future incoming videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.